Hi, everyone. Well, you know, it was sad to hear recently, this day, that uh, Ethel Kennedy had died. Of course, she was 96. She lived a long, fruitful life, but a tragic one, of course, uh, losing her husband and two of her children at young ages. Uh, but she had a very, very interesting life. I was fortunate enough to have met her with her late husband when he announced for senator, uh, both in, in Atlantic City and, and later I was actually in their hotel room when he was elected senator. Somebody got me in. So I, I you know, commend her life and, and what she's done, and, and I share the sympathy uh, that we all feel for her family. And, you know, it's too bad that in her last months uh, she had to deal with uh, her rogue namesake son, uh, Robert Kennedy Jr., uh, supporting Trump. Uh, her other children, his siblings, wouldn't even support him when he was running for president. Uh, they think he's a fruitcake doesn't believe in vaccines, that sort of thing. And it's interesting that J.D. Vance, uh, Trump's running mate, was bragging, look at all the Democrats supporting Trump, Robert Kennedy Jr., Tulsi Gabbard, a, a little-known uh, congresswoman, uh, three terms, and nobody really cares about her, as opposed to the Republicans who are supporting Kamala Harris. Dick Cheney, Liz Cheney, former Senator Flake of Arizona, so many congressmen, the uh, 200 uh, people who have worked in his administration are supporting Kamala Harris. There must be a reason. These people are not normally wanting Democrats to win the presidency. So, you know, that's all I give to you. People say that I'm getting my news from the mainstream media. They're all lying. May I suggest that the people you're listening to either don't have the facts or they are lying, such as your candidate, Donald Trump, who has said things like, well, nobody died, uh, as in Joe Biden's case, when the, the tragic 13 servicemen were killed uh, in a suicide bombing in Afghanistan. 65 people, tell that to their family, 65 servicemen died uh, under fire in the Trump administration. I'm not saying that he's specifically to blame for it, but don't start Casting stones. So, you know, all of the people that are, are poo-pooing uh, Republican governors and other officials in the eastern flood states that are saying it is not true what Trump is saying about, oh, Biden's holding up money or he's giving money to migrant uh, lodging and whatever. That is not true. Everything is normal, they say. The money is flowing in. You're not just getting $750. You're going to get the full recompense or a lot to rebuild, to, to get your life better. Apply for it. If you're legitimate, you will get the money. But really, people, start looking around, and the truth is out there. Statistics are out there. There's a reason why Governor DeWine, DeWine a Republican governor of Ohio, is saying, don't do this, Trump. Don't cast aspersion on these Haitian immigrants. They're good people. They're not eating pets. Don't try to bomb their schools. I don't know what's wrong with Trump. And Vance, and I don't know what's wrong with the people who are supporting him. I'm supporting, and I hope that you will consider Kamala Harris and Tim Walsh.